Let's take a look at some new tracking views in the HyperTrack dashboard. At the top of every view is a date selector to choose a specific day. There's also a time zone selector to view things relative to the time zone of your choice. Use the profile selector to isolate views for only specific kinds of users or users in a specific geographic region. To remove all of those views and see everything, click Select All. There are three different kinds of app users represented. Those whose devices are disconnected, those actively being tracked, and those who are tracked but currently inactive. Click on an individual user to get full details of the time that they were tracked, including time when they are in transit, times when they are idle, and times when they are moving on foot. Use the playback button to see a replay. You can now view trips, geotags, and geofences in addition to users, and sort, for example, by delays, when a trip was completed or whether it was deviating from its route. Completed trips are rendered in purple. Trips that are underway are in green. Use the search bar to narrow down specific views and click on one trip to see its individual segments. As you drill down using the profile editor, the embeddable URL for a view includes that view in its parameters. scoreboard makes it easy to compare today's activity to a historical period. Use the selector at the top of the screen to choose between the last seven days and the last 30. See each day's active, inactive, and disconnected users, as well as reasons why disconnected users weren't connected. You can also see for individual trips how many happened each day statistics about their arrival and on-time percentage, details about how long was spent at each destination and delays there, and information about average trip's length. It's never been easier to use the Location Logistics Cloud.